I haven't been on the scooter in about a month because I've been riding the Harley. time for the moment of truth. My wife has ridden her bike since I've ridden mine. Let's see if she starts up. Got warm up. This is the one I'm really worried about. Come on, baby. Success. Ah, oh, my mirrors are messed up. Morning, folks. I haven't been on the scooter for about a month now. Showed you my Harley. I was going to go for a Harley ride today, as a matter of fact. It's going to do a longer trip, but you know what? I missed my ruckus, and I've been neglecting it, and... We're gonna go get ourselves a little morning biscuit and temperature is not supposed to get above 95 today. There are two little breakfast places that my wife and I like. We did Georgetown last time. The little scooter gang video, if you guys remember. And uh, today we're gonna do Taylor, just to mix things up. Last time I went somewhere uh, to Georgetown, I filled up before we went, and uh, I've only done that one trip, so uh, I only have 30-something miles on the scooter, so I don't need to fill up, but my wife has been still running around with her sister, so she's got about 65 miles or so on her scooter, so we're going to go ahead and get some gas for her. They've been doing some construction down here and we could not pass with our cars but I believe our scooters can so we're gonna give that a shot Close to all other traffic, save ruckuses. So I'm very happy that uh, my scooter pretty much started up. And I tell you what, I'm, I, I don't know how to emphasize this enough. You guys need to use premium. I know it's a small engine and price, you know, prices are sky high on gasoline, especially lately. But it's well worth it, and you know what? I'm a fat guy on a little bike, and I'm getting 90 miles to the gallon. So. See, it says 349, which is actually pretty high for regular, but we're paying 429. Let me get over here. What you get? Looks like I'm getting 101.98 hundred one point nine eight that's pretty good and I'm getting 90 so we're still doing real good okay so we're good on gas and it is 902 in the morning actually a late start for our breakfast but you know it's just the way it is sometimes
love this little town. It sure is pretty. And they got a brewery going in right there. It's not supposed to rain today, but the clouds look pretty dark. Hope we don't get caught in it. Not that we couldn't use the rain, just uh, unexpected. The thing is, those don't look like morning clouds. It's way too, way too late in the day to call those morning clouds. Those are regular clouds. But it's an adventure. What the heck, right? I think I might buy a frog tog uh, cover for the top anyway. They're cheap and they fold up really, really small and light and they throw that in the uh, under seat bag. So I've been riding my Harley a lot and every time I want to turn on my blinker to go right, I keep push, trying to push a button on the right hand side. For you guys who own Harleys, you know what I'm talking about. I thought it was weird at first, but now I'm kind of liking it. I thought, oh, I'll never get used to that, but I got used to it real quick. Of traffic out for a Sunday morning thinking uh, people might do, be doing their back to school shopping school starts next week yeah a lot of cars uh-oh starting to rain I'll ask my wife what she wants to do. Getting sprinkled on. Keep going? Yeah, let's check the app. Think it's fine? Yeah. Alright, so if it gets worse, we'll turn around. Alright. Your call. So if we get caught in the torrential rain, it's your fault. Let's do it. Okay, my wife checked the app and it's only like a 6% chance of rain, so I'm going to Taylor and that's about a 6 or 7% chance of rain as well. So these are, I guess, just morning clouds. Worst case scenario, we get wet. Then I'll have a good title for my video. Caught in torrential rain. And that was a huge hole in the road. And that's because we haven't had rain in a long time. We're under a drought right now. Pretty bad one. Not the worst we've ever had. Certainly not the worst in the nation. They got it worse out west.
strike correct, as you say. Actually, we came upon a road close sign. There was a sign back there that said no through traffic, but that looked like an older sign. That, and I know I've gone this route before. So, we're going to see if it's actually close to us or not. Howdy. Howdy, sir. How you doing? Pretty good. Samsung. I had I thought they were over there. Al told us wrong. Well, he said they're going out that way, so I didn't hear you working in the basement. I don't know what that means. All right. Well, we'll go back to 3349 and go on up to 79, or if you want to go the 95 way. And, uh, how far are we from Taylor when we get on 79? It's an equal distance, I think. We can do 95. We'll do that. Yeah. Let's do 95? Okay. Well, it looks like we came upon the uh, Samsung construction zone. I had no idea. And they said they're going way far out. They're going to push a facility. And that, my friends, is that for Taylor. And it's going to turn into a bedroom community, too. I'm sure they're happy. I just hope Taylor doesn't lose his old town flavor the same way that my little town did. My little town is just a bedroom community now. Not really any flavor or character. There's nothing there. Nothing but strip malls and houses. You can eat. You can get gas. You can survive. You can buy groceries. But, you know, it, to me, it's, it's a lot like... Uh, I mean, I've been to California. I've been to, like, San Jose. Everybody hears great things about San Jose. It's not a heck of a lot different. It's just strip mall city. So, I, you know, no offense to you Californians, man, but really don't really have any character you have apple and apple did it to you all right so this made the uh, trip a little bit longer oh well one thing i always loved was those little cops of trees that they had here i hope this doesn't go away i should mention that the guy who uh Stopped us there is a very nice guy, very personable. He knew that, you know, bicyclists still ignore the signs and go through. We just didn't know that they had sold a public road to a private company. It's pretty with the light coming through the trees. detour took a little time to get recover from to get us back on the road and uh, now I am starved
Just trying to keep it interesting for you guys. We just finished breakfast at the uh, curbside coffee house. You're, if you're ever in Taylor, highly recommended their breakfast and their coffee is very good. Now it's time to get back home. It took us an hour and a half to get here because of all the roadblocks and everything we had to go through in the backtracking. Be fun to come down here and explore these back streets I think like that one right there okay back on the road home if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up like and subscribe you want to see more content like this and I will see you in the next video.